I wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how you can use Airtable in your classroom. So I have created this free student data tracking table for you and the link to it is below and I'm going to walk you through what you can do with it. So at the top here you have several different topics. You can change these by just double clicking them. Um, what I would do is I would put each standard in these so that you can track your students by standard. And um, so you can do that. And then in order to create a, a um, if you want to delete it, you can click the down arrow and delete it, or you can duplicate it. So you can have several across the top here. So here's where you're going to put your name. Um, I've got a drop down here for your subject. So if you click on there, you've got a drop down. There are several different subjects in there. If you want to customize this field, you just come up here and customize it and you can add an option or you can delete any of these options as well. All right. And then the next one is attachments. So if you have any anecdotal notes or if you want to scan something and put it in there, um, just to kind of keep everything in one place, kind of like a portfolio for each of your students, you can do that there. And this is another drop down menu for status. It's in, I've got in progress, satisfactory, exceed standards, or needs help. And I've got them all color coded, and I'll show you why in just a minute. And then I've got notes here. You can add notes, and then you can add different columns for different things that you might use in your classroom. All right, so the reason why I've got these color coded is because you can go up here to this button up here, it's the interfaces, and you can get a good visual on how many students are in progress or how many students need help, um, which is a really great way to look at your data. So if you have any questions or if you want me to work on something else, put it in the comments below or email me and have a wonderful day.